Welcome to A Word from the Word. My name is Karen Waldhart, and I'm the pastor of women's ministry here at Resurrection Life Church. And we are enjoying this series where we are taking the magnifying glass of truth to one single word out of the Word of God, focusing in on it and really drawing the truth from it. And so we're gonna dig in today to a scripture where we're gonna focus on the word let. L E T, a very simple word. And you might be thinking, why would we talk about the word let? Well, let me tell you that this word becomes very, very powerful as we see it in John 14, 27, as I read out of the Amplified Bible. Jesus is speaking, and this is one of the last chances that Jesus had to speak with his disciples before he actually went to the cross. And he said, peace I leave with you, my perfect peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. That really lays the uh, groundwork for what we're about to talk about with the word let. But know that Jesus was offering the gift of peace, the same peace that Jesus walked in, the same peace that spoke to a storm and the wind and the waves obeyed when he said, peace, be still. The release of peace that only came from Jesus. And it's a perfect peace, isn't it? And he goes on to say, do not let your heart be troubled, nor let it be afraid. I've learned in studying the Word of God that anytime you see a repeated word, you should pay attention. There's something very important about this word repeated, the little word let. It becomes powerful because I'm going to ask you, when we're afraid and our hearts are troubled, who's letting that happen? We are. And it becomes an, an action word. And Jesus is saying, I've got peace for you. I've got perfect peace for you. It's the same peace that I have walked in. You have seen it in action. And I'm leaving it as a gift for you to be able to partake. And it's not going to be found in the world. So we need to stop looking to people and circumstances and the world to offer peace. Jesus said, it's my peace, but our part is to not let our heart be troubled, nor let it be afraid. And those are the do nots, but here's the do. Let his perfect peace calm you in every circumstance and give you courage and strength for every challenge. What's your challenge today? What are the things that you're facing that sometimes grip your heart with fear? And can I assure you that you can depend and rely on the peace that passes all understanding, that peace that only comes from Jesus himself, and let it calm you in every circumstance so you have courage and strength to face today. And I believe I'm speaking to someone in particular. I think this is a word and you know who you are. And this, my friend, is a word from the word for today.